Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio, and today I'm going to try a mastering experiment. I'm going to master a track with some of my inexpensive analog outboard gear and maybe a touch of console EQ. I'm not necessarily recommending you do this for your own music. I mean, if you have a project that you've worked really hard on and you're going to release that commercially, I definitely would recommend sending it to a real mastering engineer. However, I have some cool analog outboard gear and I had a comment on a recent video whether I had tried the ART dual limiter for mastering purposes and I have not and I don't believe that it was actually designed for mastering but I figured you know what could it hurt so I have an ART TCS twin compressor system followed by the ART dual limiter today and I'm going to use a touch of the console EQ and see what kind of a analog master we can get Here's the mastering chain. We've got this top ART TCS twin compressor. Have it set to VCA mix mode right here. And then the attack is a little bit slower. Release is a little bit faster. And then the ratio 1.7 to 1. And then the threshold is like one mark left of center. So that's kind of the idea. We have the detector loop switch in because this EQ, this side of the EQ is in the detector loop for this compressor. And these are stereo linked as well. So we've got the settings over here are for both sides of this because of the stereo link that's switched on over here. So we have mix mode, we have the detector loop in with this side of this graphic EQ in the detector loop so I can fine tune the compression and no tube circuit and these are stereo linked as well. So we've got the settings over here are for both sides of this because of the stereo link that's switched on over here. So we have mix mode, we have the detector loop in with this side of this graphic EQ in the detector loop so I can fine tune the compression and no tube circuit. We have the release set about one and a half marks from the left of center the attack a little more than one mark to the right of center 1.7 to 1 ratio and then our output over here and balance level and then this goes into the dual limiter next and you can see the settings for that and again this is also stereo linked so the settings are over here this shows the input output attack and release time so you just kind of want to balance these. You know, I can use this to push the input of this. And these are both coming from a console insert so that I can use just a touch of the console EQ to do this kind of quick analog mastering job. This is the EQ that's on the actual mix itself. Just removing a little bit of low mids in the 400 hertz range and boosting some sub lows at about 60 there with the console EQ. Let's look at the EQ curve that I have in the detector loop of the first compression stage right here. What I'm doing is pulling out a lot of the low end with the low cut switch and pulling out some of these low frequencies below 63 hertz and then a little bit of 100 because I don't want so much low end triggering the compression here. So this EQ curve here is then the compressor side chain and not on the overall mix. The little bit of EQ on the console is actually what you're hearing on the mastered version of the mix. This EQ curve here on this graphic EQ is in the side chain of this first stage of compression, which is VCA compression. And then of course that's followed by the ART dual limiter. The song I'm going to be using for this mastering experiment is the new Down the Drain remix. It's from the new Homespun Centaurs Poolside Centaurs Remixes album that's going to be out here in a few weeks. So this is kind of a preview of that new song that's coming out soon. So you've seen it here on the channel before it even came out. You said this world just needs a friend Just needs a name And if it wasn't for these past days Burning scars across my face All the same, all the same Balance out all these goodbyes 
From what I can hear, the ART TCS twin compressor and the ART dual limiter make a pretty good inexpensive analog mastering chain. They're not noisy, they don't create a lot of extra defects in the audio by running the audio through them, and we were able to bring up the level by quite a good amount in the analog domain without having to use like normalizing or something like that in the, in the box. So overall, I think the experiment was fairly successful. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Now remember that I'm not suggesting that everyone go out and buy some of this inexpensive analog outboard gear that I have and try to master their record. I definitely still recommend that if you've worked really hard on your project, that you have a real mastering engineer master your recordings and your mixes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure to check out all the links in the video description for things that help support this channel, like other projects that I've been a part of and produced or mixed, things like that. I'll also put a link to Homespun Centaurs when that comes out. I'll add that to the video description as well. Thank you so much to everyone for watching my videos and thank you so much to all the new subscribers here on the channel. Hope each and everyone out there has an excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond. Whatever it is you're having, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. You said that